Hello, and welcome back to the Harmonic Hills, or rather, <laughs> your worst nightmare ever possible in Roller Coaster Tycoon. <laughs> ah, well, uh, let's put it a little bit more positively and say the most challenging park so far. That's not a lie. Now, we have a pretty nice start, but if you look over here, it's already May, and we only got three uh, rides in here. So, yeah. <laughs> It might seem nice, but it's not. It's terrible. And, well, you know, one thing that I didn't do last time, and I feel like I should have, really, is to check what our guests got to spend. Wait, hold on a second. You're all leaving? <laughs> Get back here! You swines, you're all leaving. Yeah, and you haven't got anything spent. Doesn't matter, though. I do want to see, like, how much cash they got on them. 90 bucks there, 90 bucks on you. 80 bucks on you. Seem, they seem pretty rich. 80 bucks on you. You're leaving and you didn't do anything. 110 bucks? My goodness. 110 bucks? Wow. Nausea tolerance and it... <laughs> you are me! <laughs> I spotted myself. <laughs> Couldn't miss it. You know, white shirt, blue jeans. Damn right, that's me. The, the hair color is a bit of a mismatch, but <laughs> on that department, I don't have much choice here. Wow, 110 bucks. That's crazy. But, as it stands right now, we are faced with a bit of an issue. <laughs> that is that we don't have anything to build at the moment. Because when I place down this apple candy thing, we have everything there is to build. Now, that's good and that's bad. It means that we are on top of things because, well, you know, we have built everything. It also means that, well, we are kind of stuck at the moment and what we need is to start building things twice. To be honest, I mean, I've already thought about it and I consider the only candidate for being built twice at the moment is uh, the car ride here. And my idea was to somehow squeeze a small one over here in this area. Preferably with the station on, no crap, on this line over here. See, the one where my cursor is going. Because if we build it over there, and then it it's not going to be grand, it's not going to be sophisticated. But if we can build it over here, have it go up, down, make a few twirls. You know, till over here, have it be small and sophisticated, if we can get through the trees, maybe even go below the coaster here, and then, like that. But that would, well, you know, it would still count as a new ride, despite there being two of them, it would still count, and it would lure in guests. So, yeah. Because, no, we did not secretly got any new rides. And this is somewhat good, but even this is not going to last us till the end of year 3. You, we will start getting complaints about there not being enough variety in the food. So, I'm just calling it out now. We will get that at some point. But, we're not there yet. Um, <laughs> we finished this coaster last time, and I'm kind of noticed that I forgot a thing. <laughs> yeah, stuffing it. Kind of important. Hmm? I think we can all agree on that one. So, there. It's staffed now. And this one also needs its own safety mechanic. And man, this is going to be easy to assign here. Look! Bam! <laughs> we got ourselves a safety mechanic. Now, I do feel that right now is also the time for our security guard and for an entertainer. Uh... Well, we don't have any fancy costumes because we also don't have any scenery. <laughs> we got, well, nothing. We got anything but the stuff that we need. <laughs> we got trees <laughs> and I can't touch them. <laughs> oh, man. Right, on to the right building then. Or should I perhaps remove the path here? I mean, I do see, for example, this mechanic being completely out of the way. Is that like, yeah, and you as well. That's not good. We need you to be where the rides are. Yeah, all right. You know what? We know what we're going to be doing. We will close off these paths here. So that our staff doesn't just wander around on them. And having done this, well, I am going to leave it out there because I do like it. But if we are ever in need of cash, I will remove that path. 
Yeah, I do see it uh, kind of as a cash backup. So, right here we go. Um, this is gonna be difficult. I am gonna tell you that in advance, but <laughs> you probably figured that out. Oh man. Oh, um, yeah, uh, Herper Derp. <laughs> I kind of might have forgotten to. I think it was guest 184. Was it you? Nope. 194 or 174? Definitely not you. 100. And yeah, it was you. You! Damage! I don't know why the game kind of forgot to remember me, but there, there I am, rich and famous. <laughs> so, yeah, now, let's uh, get on to building the ride, and, uh, hmm, alright, crap, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so, as I said, we can't have a long station on this one, and, well, that's the reason why. Now, this is the question. Can I go over here? Is this like leading to... Oh, this might actually be leading to some place. This is good. I'm liking this so far. We are going below the coaster at the moment. And we are also <laughs> heading straight at the tree. That's a little bit less than good, but I wonder, I, I I think that, oh no, oh no, oh look at this, look at this, we're onto something here, I can tell you, I can feel it. Now at height 16, we are not high enough to go above the footpath, which is kind of what I do want to do, so we need to go up one more. Damn it, I should have done that earlier. Right, well, there. Okay, up the footpath we go. Now, what we also need to do, we need to build this so that we don't screw ourselves over later on. But with this ride, it isn't that, you know, we, we, we have some leeway here because it's quite easy to construct. So, I do feel somewhat safe building this. But this cluster of trees just makes it just unworkable, really. I mean, we can't do anything over there. Oh, and we can't do anything over there either. So really, what we're doing is we're just hugging the path. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, really original track design here. <coughs> Malt. Anyway, we'll go... No, look, see? This is just blocking every possibility off right there. So... But, we can go around it. Oh, man. I really love this whole car ride <laughs> now. Usually, I think it's a crappy ride, you know, because of the bad ratings that I usually get on it. Right now, I'm in love with it <laughs> for its flexibility in track design. Now then, let's see. Can I get around these... Yeah, there should be a path, like, around here. Let's see if we can get to that. Oh, and I'm on the coaster right now, the micro coaster. Right, so I should be right on the money here. I don't know if I want to go down that much. Oh, balls. We hit a tree. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> we'll do that probably a lot more in this park, but... Right then. I can't go through here, so we have to go above the path. Like this. And then, from here on, we can go up and back to the station. Which we should do. Because soon, we should have a new ride. I am actually, to be honest, this car ride isn't that bad, <laughs> if I'm honest. The track is kind of complicated, it goes around a lot of trees, and it interferes with the coaster. Let's see. Wow. Oh, that's good. Look at that, 4.5. For a coaster of this length, that's amazing, really. That's good. And look at that guest count. Wow. That has actually gone up bonkers mad. In fact, I feel that we are needing uh, in need of more facilities over here. I'm thinking toilets. I'm thinking another drink store. Yes, yes. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's first get this set up. We are not going to... Ooh. Oh, I was about to say, we're not going to go with sports cars, but then we got, like, a whole lot of research there. 
Let's go with the cat cars, you know, because, well, I don't think I've ever went with those. Um, we will color this, and we'll color this completely different. Uh, we will go with the black and white team. This one had a green and black, so we won't go with the black and white. We'll go with the brown and white. Yes, and then black cats on the track. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna be seven years of bad luck. <laughs> no, it's not. It's gonna be seven years of good profits because of the black cats. We are gonna charge five bucks for this, regardless of the ratings. Did I set up the pricing over here? Yeah, I did. Righty, well, I am pretty, I'm actually pretty happy with the, how this whole ride came out, you know. I think that it will be pretty good. So what we'll do... Uh, we will quickly test one ride of that, yeah. You know, or, uh, one cat. We can have one cat run its course here to get the ratings ASAP. And uh, we are going to call this uh, the Cat's Dance. The Cat's Dance. Yeah, that, that uh, sounds good. Now then, this is set up. No, it's not. We now need to get our infrastructure uh, a bit fitting for this, so... We'll remove the path up till there, place it back over there, and then remove this banner sign. In fact, we don't really need the banner sign now that I'm just removing the one tile of path. I think that's the better method you know, to keep our staff in the area where we need them to be. So, You know what, we'll also place some light posts. I know they don't serve any purpose, but I think they look nice. So, there. <laughs> and that's a valid reason. Okay, so... F Ooh! Steel Wild Mouse Coaster! Nice! Right, well, that's another coaster, and that is definitely the next thing that we're gonna be building. But... Oh man, that Steel Wild Ma Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> not the Steel... In fact, I thought that that was good, but it's not, <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Because the Steel Wild Mouse Coaster becomes really bad when it has more than one lift in it. Yeah, well that's pretty much a guaranteed in this park with all the limitations in place. We will need that whole thing with multiple lifts for it to even be any good. Balls. Right, first... Oh, wait, 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 wait. The safest, uh, <laughs> safest park in the country, because we do not have anything in it <laughs> that can break down. Alright, that's lying, but still. Now, over here, I'm thinking we should keep this space here for a few slam down rides that we might get. So, yeah, we'll keep this open. And then, I think we should place a coaster, like, somewhere around here. Well, this line looks good. In fact... Looking at that park, we haven't even done some park planning. We get a big circle here, but I feel it's too big. I feel like we need a cross diagonal thingy. You know, cut it in two. I think over here, over here, you know, would be the right spot for that. So, yeah, we'll get that done as well in a moment. But first, let's, uh, yeah, let's get some more shops and stalls out here. You know, more facilities. We need those. Definitely we need those over here. Yeah, figured. Alright. Um, well, in that case, we will... Ooh, this is a nice spot for it. There. I want to block off, you know, the, as least the amount of path as possible. So, so I'm a bit careful with uh, the whole placement of these facilities. Well, that should do it more or less. Now then, we have two and a half grand... We are going to build that coaster with it. The question is where, though. I feel that we should more or less build it, like, somewhere over here. So we need at least the start of this path out here. So, Tarmac, let's get you built. And even building Tarmac, I think, is already challenging on this one. Because of those green horrors. <laughs> the nightmare of every tycoon in this park. And then if I go up here, do I hit a tree? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> Stupid question. <laughs> um, we will go around it though. And that is like this. And I feel like going up to this side too much because that would just 
Well, I'll put it off center, this whole cross section of the path. Alright, there's a tree there. Uh, well, that should do it. You know, this this should do it for now. That, that's more than plenty. Because, in fact, we actually uh, kind of forgot <laughs> to hire staff for this new section here. So, let's do that now. Yeah, see? <laughs> totally forgot it. Completely. Oh, do we have ratings on this yet? We have. And it's more or less equal to the one over here. This Lambo Lab. In fact, it's even 200 better. But I think for a car ride that doesn't go underground, I think it's pretty hard to get it higher than this. Sure, it's possible if you can terraform and remove trees, but that's not possible here, in case you didn't notice. Because I'm not leaving these trees here because uh, I made peace with Greenpeace. No, no. No, man, why terror? But we got this new section here. Let's also get some stuff for this area. Look, you're not going to mow the grass. I don't need that. The one good thing is, I mean, I guess I loaded with the money. I'm really pleased with that, actually. That means that we can charge crazy prices and I guess we'll all be, yeah, cool, cool. I'll pay up. Another good thing about this coaster <laughs> is that it's so short that a lot of guests, you know, this can... This can, well, handle so many guests. <laughs> yeah, this will be a profit machine like no other. Right. Let's get some benches out here. Interior is also important. We need that. Uh, I'm not going to build the uh, facilities over here just yet. In fact, what we need to do now is scout for a good stretch to get our steel mouse coaster going. Now, what I want to do really is, ideally, I'd have the station on this height here, you know, this height level, and then have it uh, go up against this hill. However, I'm looking at it, you know, the station would have to be like in this sort of general direction. But there's just too many trees here. The one place where we could possibly do this is in this direction. Yes, that would be a possibility. Um, wow, <laughs> I'm rotating the screen like crazy. It's kind of hard to see where the trees are, because they're all tall trees too, so it's a bit hard to tell where's what. But if I'm right, then this line over here should be clear of most of the trees. But I want it a bit closer to the path over here. Maybe we should look at the other side. Though then immediately we are crazy high. We don't really want that. Ideally I'd have this also be with one lift. I don't think I'll be able to get that done but... Uh, hmm. Yeah. Looking, looking here it's... I think it's going to be the, this stretch over here. And then we'll see where we get from over here. It's a bit far, but if I can get the station to over here, and then have the queue be hooking up like over here and here, I guess that's sort of okay. Not really what I'm looking for, but I guess sort of okay. And then we'll have like the majority of the coaster track be in this area, only to then head back really fast. Because over here, as you can see, there's a crap load of trees, so I feel that we should have all our track rides over here. Thank God, though, we did have the uh, Steel Wild Mouse Coaster as a coaster, rather than like uh, the, well, what's it called? The other one? You know, the really inflexible one that you always get? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't even know, really. I want Virginia Real, though. But we don't have that, so let's build this one. Let's see. What can I get in... Oh. Alright, we also hit a tree over there. So that's pretty much the limit of where we can get. But look, if I make one small zigzag around here... Damn it. We need it to be even more... Even one short. Or... To the other side. Look, this will allow it to go up. Can I even... No, I can't have lifted curves 
Right, there we hit the limitations. Yeah. Alright, so 19 is like the height limit over here. At least for that section it is. Now we should be able to go up to 20. Right, what we could do is we could have it go up and well, utilize one, even one more height difference. But I don't think that that will add much. So we are going to break with the tradition of having only one lift in here. And we will go with multiple lifts. I know, I know. I'll come to regret it, but that is how it's going to be. Um, right. Let's hold on a second. This is annoying a little bit, but there. Get at least a steep drop in... Okay, crap. <laughs> Let's not get a steep drop in there. We will just have regular plateau stuff then. It's not going fast, so we can start off with the sharp curves immediately. Okay, maybe that <laughs> maybe that's a little bit enthusiastic. Uh, what we can do is this though. Now, where does that leave me? Perfect, I'd say. Um, we can have a curve like this, and then and like this. And then, if we go over here, and go straight, look, right now, you can see what I'm doing, I'm setting it up for yet another drop. Not really the greatest drop, I'm pretty sure that this coaster will have terrible ratings by the way, but, <laughs> yeah, not much we can do about that. I mean, the whole height limitation, that's a really a drag, you know? I would have loved it if that was not in place, but. Alas, it is in place and we need to deal with it. So far though, I must say that I feel like I'm dealing with it pretty well, actually. Okay, <laughs> there is a tree there. But we can go around it, like this. Now, right now, I am at station height, but I feel like this coaster would not be as good as it should be. If we go, you know, back to the station like right now. Oh crap, there's a tree there. Yeah, <laughs> no wonder that's not working. So, let's see here. We should... Yeah, no, right now, I I'm just maneuvering myself in a dead end. Not really ideal. So, here's what we'll do. We'll go up. Or not. Crap, is this like... Am I like in a dead zone here at the moment? It seems to be the case. Tree in the way. Right, this is doable, though I'm already hitting the height limits here. Six... Oh, wait, 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 am I onto something? No, I'm not. <laughs> I thought I was, but no. <laughs> no, of course not. That's way too much to hope for in this park. Now then, look, at height 14, there is a tree in the way. Balls. I go one over here. Then go down one. Right now, we are going above the path. Which means there is no tree in the way. And I would love it to go like this and then go back. Alright, so let's see if we can try and achieve that. That means that we need to go like this. Right, so far so good. This is all looking very promising all of a sudden. Okay, that's not gonna work, but that's no man overboard. Uh, right, and look, all of a sudden we're out in the open, on the other side. That's... wow! Right, oh man! We are next to our own station. I am not gonna do anything fancy anymore now, no. <laughs> look, and back. I know not the greatest coaster, but I think in term, with the limitations that the terrain give us, I think this is more or less the best we can get. Uh, <laughs> it's also the best we can get if I look at our cash, so yeah. This is really, you know, the max that we can get out of it. Now, I don't think that the, the whole ride will be that amazing, but, you know, watch the test ride for me and report back to me if it's good. <laughs> and also if it's not good, because <laughs> I don't expect any reports. Uh, if I only want good ones, so...
Oh man. Yeah, this is totally not how a coaster like that should be built, by the way. Just saying, you know, just throwing it out there. Right, hold on. If I go up one earlier, now go straight, bam, connected. In terms of a queue size, that's pretty decent actually. It's not bad at all. All I need to do really is just hook it up like right next to the entrance. That will give it plenty of repeat cast. Or at least, well, I think we will really need the repeat cast because the ratings won't be that amazing. And then, that's hooked up. Do we have ratings yet? Yes, we do. <laughs> As I expected. They're not the greatest, but for this coaster, it's pretty okay. So, and it will, look, we have 300 guests in July. Oh my goodness. Those 1200 guests all of a sudden seem a lot less elusive uh, than I first thought. I mean, look at this coaster. It's not the best, but certainly it's there, you know, it, it can hold its own. Oh, I am overcharging for it already. Yeah, this is a thing. If this coaster... Oh, man. And the ratings are really crap. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> what did we get? Suspended single real coaster. What's that for kind of coaster? <gasps> Oh, this one we can. This one can be really good, actually. I mean, this one could also have been really good, but not in this park. This one, though, has. This one can actually be really good. Well, we're not there yet. First, let's let's name shame and uh, set up, you know, the whole technical aspect of this coaster. So, what we're gonna be doing? We're gonna name this, and how are we gonna name it? Hmm. I am thinking about uh, uh, the Restricted Ravager. Restricted Ravager. Like me, <laughs> you know, a Ravager in Tycoon Land. <laughs> Restricted by <laughs> restrictions. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> how odd. <laughs> uh, but then the colors. Um... Well, you know, not really. I don't really have a theme, so let's throw in some orange. Remove the pink and go with the grey. And then over here, if we can have some yellow supports in there. Well, it doesn't look so bad, really. I like the random coloring. I'm definitely going to stick with that. It's one of the few coasters that has it. So, damn right, we are going to stay with that. Or uh, stick with that. So, but... Now, I think it's pretty much game time for this coaster. Show me how many guests you are gonna lure into the park. And besides, maybe we can crank up the ratings of this coaster a little bit once we have some more rides going around it. But yeah, this, this coaster, in all honesty, I expected those ratings. Uh, not that great, but I did expect them, so. Right, by the way, I, you are no entry sign? Yeah, you are. Right, what we need then is staff here. I don't think that this uh, it might actually need a safety mechanic. I think that this one can suffer from station brake failures, so... Just to be sure, we are gonna get one. Up there. They are so easy to set up. Oh man. It's a joy, really. <laughs> I mean, that is a really good thing on this park. The ease of the safety mechanics. Now, we have a park here. We don't have a lot of cash, so... How are we gonna deal with that? Actually, that's a thing. I haven't even checked how much loan I can take out. Let's do that now. Oh! 15 grants is actually pretty decent loan. That means that we can keep building whatever there is to build. Without even having to remove the path for quite a while. Alright. That's good. But all of that and more has to wait for next time when we play more Rollercoaster Tycoon.